Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Kyla Nasaya and you are tuned in. You already know what it is when you click that link to that title. So tonight we are going to be making a red lobster tail and shrimp fettuccine. So before we get into this video, make sure you guys like and subscribe because if you're not a subscriber yet, what are you doing? What are you doing? If you guys want more cooking tours, I need you guys to hit that subscribe button, get in them comments and let me know you did that so I can know that you guys want more videos like this. Now let's get into the video. So I already have my water boiling, it's hot, it's ready. So I'm gonna go ahead and add my fettuccine noodles in there because the noodles I feel like is the only thing that takes the most time to cook. So let's go ahead and add these noodles in here. I'm not adding the whole thing cause it is just me eating. So we got some noodles in there. I'm gonna add some salt in the water. Okay, so while that is doing that, I have my shrimp that I'm going to go ahead and clean off, off of camera. And then when I come back, you guys will see me season it. Okay, so next I'm going to be showing and telling you guys all of the ingredients I'm going to be using to make my fettuccine shrimp, my shrimp fettuccine. And then I'm going to cook the shrimp because the shrimp take literally about five minutes to cook. And then I'm going to dance for you guys. So I already have my shrimp clean. What we're going to be using to make this pasta, we're going to need minced garlic, unsalted butter. I'm probably going to go grab another one. I don't know. This is whipping cream. I got the organic, this heavy whipping cream. I did get the organic kind because they ran out of the original. So why not be a little healthy? We have some shredded Parmesan cheese, the garlic clove, a full onion that I'm gonna cut in half, parsley, pepper, and salt. All right, so now let's go ahead and cook these shrimp on the stove. I'm gonna use unsalted butter for my shrimp. And I'm just gonna season it with salt. Because I am adding it in the pasta, you do not wanna add all these different flavor seasonings. You kinda wanna keep it simple so you can taste the pasta. But if you want, cause I probably will add some Cajun seasoning. I don't know. It's just me, how I want my pasta to taste. I'm gonna add a little salt. Now we got our butter melting. Where's the shrimp? Let's add these shrimp. And I'm gonna wait till it like cooks a little bit before I season it.
All right, you guys, so our shrimp is cooked. We're gonna go ahead and start on our, what is the word? I don't know why I can't think of the word, but basically the pasta sauce. Yeah, the pasta sauce. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and cut up, I've already started cutting up this onion, but I'm gonna cut this onion in half. I, I really don't like onion like that, but. So I'm not gonna use a lot of it, And actually what I'm gonna do with this onion is, I'm gonna cut it into very, very tiny pieces. Bring you guys a little closer. All right. Ooh. All right, we're gonna add some unsalted butter. We're gonna cook this on like low, medium. And add our onions in there. But onions really do make a difference when you cooking, I promise. Like you need onion, but I just don't like onions like that. All right. And once it starts to, to cook a little, we're gonna add some minced garlic. Just a little bit. Literally, just a little bit. And again, you guys, I'm not really measuring nothing because I'm cooking this to my tasting. So if you know you like onions, add more onions. If you know you like a lot of garlic, add your garlic. I just know what I like and don't like and I know what I like to taste and how I want it to taste. So this is just the way I'm doing it. I'm giving you guys the ingredients I'm using, the measurements, that's all up to you. Y'all, this is so creepy. It's like a big giant bug. Oh, maybe I shouldn't say that while I'm cooking. I'm so creeped out, y'all. Okay, we got our lobster open, pulled out. Now I'm gonna clean it off camera. Oh, I just cleaned my lobster. I see that our noodles are ready. So let's go ahead and add our noodles into our pasta cream.
So this is what our pasta is looking like. I'm gonna show you guys. Yeah, our pasta is done. Let's go ahead and finish on this lobster. I'm gonna cover my pasta. I'm gonna take it off of the hotness, cover it. Our lobster literally is gonna take about seven to 10 minutes, not that long. So our pasta still will be hot and ready, okay? All right, so what we're gonna be using for our lobster is unsalted butter. We use unsalted butter, period. Unsalted butter, minced garlic, garlic clove, parsley, I don't know how to say this word, so I'm gonna put it on the screen, and some rosemary. And I'm gonna add all of this into a bowl and spread it out on my lobster. So come on, let's do that. But you know, we gotta try the food. So, first we're gonna start with our pasta, our shrimp pasta. This is gonna be kind of difficult to eat. You know? And I'm going to struggle to eat this food, but I'm definitely about to go eat it because it's so good. Homemade. Okay. Y'all seen it yourselves. 
all right you guys so if you guys want another cook and twerk like this video hit that notification bell so you guys are notified when i drop a video for you guys when i drop another cook and twerk or any sexy content that you guys like also if you guys want to see me cook something drop it down in the comments below because i do read y'all comments and that's the end of this video don't forget to subscribe you guys see you guys in the next one